Hi, my name is Annalisa Sannino. In this article, my co-authors and I address the question of how is design-based research in the learning sciences different from formative interventions such as change laboratories in cultural historical activity theory. This study provides answers to this question by examining three interventions in which learners themselves produce the design to transform their own activities. The first case is a change initiative undertaken in a school and its surrounding communities in a favela in the South Sao Paulo, Brazil. The two other cases are change laboratory interventions, one conducted in a middle school and the other one conducted in an academic library in Finland. Anne Brown's seminal article on design experiments in 1992 in the Journal of the Learning Sciences advocated the engineering of novel educational environments, which at the same time serve as natural environments to conduct experiment studies of these innovations. The new engineered environments aim at ensuring that all participants take learning into their own hands. Our article seeks to take a step forward, questioning the extent to which researchers can actually be engineers in control if the agency of the learners is taken as the foundational starting point of the research approach. The collective design effort in formative interventions is a part of a process we characterized as expansive learning, in which learners reconceptualize and practically transform the object of their activities by addressing unsustainable contradictions in these activities. For this process to occur, the involvement of a researcher is not essential. The problem that's, that serves as impetus for the change initiative in the case of the school in Sao Paulo was the repeated flooding of a polluted river that runs between the school and the neighborhood. The flood brings diseases and pests with it and directly affects the school. In this case, the well-being of the community became the object of learning and agency upon the initiative of two pedagogical coordinators in the school. The standard object of school instruction, students and the knowledge prescribed in the curriculum, was radically opened up. Students and school knowledge became embedded in the broader object of quality of life in the community epitomized by the polluted river. Collectives very often conduct formative interventions by themselves in their activities. When researchers are part of the process, their role is to intervene by provoking and supporting a process which is led and owned by the learners. This may sound no different than any form of action research. Yet, a distinctive feature of formative interventions involving a researcher is the repertoire of conceptual tools stemming from cultural historical activity theory, which are developed and used in the process. The second case examined in the article is a 11-week change laboratory intervention conducted with the entire teaching staff in a middle school in a disadvantaged area of Helsinki. In the process, the object of the teaching activity represented by the students was transformed. Apathetic students were reconceptualized as capable and competent by means of a novel pedagogical solution designed and implemented by the teachers during the change laboratory. The third case examined in the article is a eight session change laboratory in a university library. At the beginning, librarians saw their clients as anonymous researchers receiving routine services. In the process, the clients became collaboration partners in need of complex, jointly designed services. 
This expansive learning outcome was epitomized in the successful effort to make research services a fully acknowledged and supported key function of the university library. Within the perspective of change laboratory formative interventions, the design is driven by historically formed contradictions in the learners' activities, and the design is the result of learners' collaborative efforts to understand these contradictions and face the problems they engender. In this process, learners also model solutions and implement them in practice. Such solutions are generative, rather than transferable and scalable. They develop over lengthy periods of time and are intertwined with novel theoretical and methodological openings in both the researched activity and the research community. Specifically on the methodological openings, the article presents the methods of analysis developed to examine change laboratory processes. The novelty of these methods lie in their focus on local change taking place over time. One of these methods is the method of analyzing expansive learning actions and deviations from instructional intentions. The method allows tracing the expansive learning process as it unfolds in the change laboratory intervention. Although most of human learning is instructed learning, in the broad sense of the word, instruction and learning never smoothly correspond to each other. Therefore, we need to look at the plans and actions of instructors and researchers, as well as the actions of learners as dialectically intertwined. This means that what is planned by the researcher must be contrasted with the actual process performed by the learners. The two will never fully coincide. The gap, struggle, negotiations, and occasional merger between the two needs to be taken as key resources for understanding processes of learning in which the formation of agency is a key quality. Each of our three cases demonstrate the longitudinal, open-ended, and generative character of formative interventions. Even though a change laboratory intervention necessary as a finite number of sessions and is follow up as a finite duration, these formal endpoints do not mark completion or closure. One aspect of generativity of formative intervention research is that its outcomes are not merely cognitive and material. They are externalized concepts and materially grounded new forms of activity that can trigger further generative developments. On behalf of my co-authors and myself, I look forward to being in touch with you all. Thank you for reading this article. Music